Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. Today we're going to do a quick unboxing, uh, I guess you would say setup, and just overall review of the Joby Gorillapod 500 action tripod. All right, being that I have a GoPro and my other tripod was a little worse for the wear, I've been shooting with that for like five years, uh, it's time for a new one. So I got the GoPro and I said, what's a good tripod for this? And my searches all sent me to Joby. And honestly, I had purchased another tripod before this and it didn't really work out. And I really wanna add that the customer service from Jovi was amazing. Uh, they sent me with this one to make up for the mistake. And I'll do a whole other video on that comparing those two tripods. But for today, one, customer service is great with Jovi. I recommend them. And two, we're gonna unbox this Gorillapod 500 Action Tripod uh, for my GoPro 11. So let's take a look at what's inside. All right, so we got this, open it up. Pull out the goods. All right, there's our screw. That's awesome. All right, nothing else inside. Get that out of there. Okay, so. All right, first things first, this is a little smaller than the other one I had from them, and that's awesome. Look at this, and compared to this, the size of the GoPro Hero 11, all right, for scale, put them next to each other like that, even like this. It's really not that large. Awesome. All right, so let's take a look here. Same Joby Gorilla Pod construction. All right, you got these like ball hinges here. Uh, really sturdy. Okay, I'm really, I, I like this design a lot uh, with the Jovies. I really like these hinges uh, and the ability to move all these, you know, uh, really nice. Now let's look at this head and where the GoPro is going to attach. It is one solid piece. All right, so this is pretty cool for an action camera. All right, because you're not going to get any vibration on this head uh, when the camera is attached. So let's take a look at that. Just give me one second. So here we go. All right, flop down these doors. Get this ready. All right, it fits in there really nice as well. Like when I slid this in here, uh, it fits really nice. Uh, it doesn't feel loose. That's a nice, it's a nice thing. It's a nice touch, whatever you want to say. And so we're going to screw this in. Yeah, lightweight, uh, really nice feel to it. Doesn't feel bulky. Doesn't feel like it, you know, like it's too big for the GoPro. Cause this is a tiny camera, right? You don't want like this huge bulky tripod uh, for this. So I like that. Let's stand it up and see how it looks. All right, so there it is on the tripod. Uh, let's kind of go around, show what it looks like. Again, nothing too crazy. Really basic tripod, but I think for an action camera, uh, it's really the ideal size, uh, weight, and setup. And I'm kind of getting like an overhead. I don't know, a bunch of angles for you there. All right, and there it is with the GoPro Hero 11. All right. Okay, let's also take a quick look at what this Gorilla Pod is really known for, right? In a lot of the, a lot of circles, is gripping onto things, mounting it onto something so you can shoot your videos. All right, so check it out here. We've got it hooked up to a ring light. All right, um, I've done this with my iPhone many times uh, with another tripod. Definitely not as easy as it was with this Gorilla Pod. So this is really cool. You know, that's just one option. You can put it on street lights, street lamps, you know, lamp posts, all that jazz, all right? But here's just basic, like I said, like you just see it in action here, uh, really what Gorilla Pod's known for, right? Okay, so now let's look at it like in the hands of, as if you're using it, right? Because a lot of vloggers are using tripods like this. Uh, you're gonna use it snowboarding, skiing, any type of action thing, running around. So here's how it looks while it's held in your hand. It's really in an innovate, um, non-invasive, I'm sorry about that, it's late. Uh, non-invasive, doesn't take up a ton of space. You know, if you're filming yourself, recording yourself, I got yelled at for saying filming. Uh, if you're filming yourself, you know, it's not too big, it's not too clunky, uh, all right? If you were to run around with this, holding it out, it would feel good. Um, you can customize the way these handles go. Uh, really a nice tripod. So I would definitely recommend, so far I recommend picking this up. I think it was under $30. You can check the Joby site, you can check the internet. Uh, but if you have the GoPro Hero, this will fit any GoPro. I recommend picking one of these up. So if this video helped, hit that like button, hit that share button. And if you really enjoyed the video, or if you wanna see more content like this, 
hit that subscribe button so I can get more content coming out. I'm going to start doing some more giveaways. Keep your eye out for that. A lot of more fun stuff coming. So thanks for watching. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Peace.